Hello and welcome to this new topic conditional statements and we will see a lot about the different types of conditional statements that we have. So one of the very first thing that we have already seen is the assignment operator which is again one sort of a condition that you want to assign a particular value to a variable. For example we have a equals to 10 right. So condition that we want to assign 10 to a. Now let's see how we can evaluate this condition which is more useful in a normal programming. So we want to see if whether a is greater than 10 question mark and then yes or no. Again if you remember it is very similar to how we have studied the maths and the conditional uh, subject on the conditional operators. This is like the one of the very basic conditional statement where we are checking if we are not specifying if or anything but we are checking whether a is greater than 10 or not if a is greater than 10 then yes otherwise no and if i press control enter the answer will be no and similarly if a is less than 10 question mark yes and no so this way as you can see it's very straightforward without writing if or anything in a very simple statement we can evaluate whether a particular condition is true or false. So a is neither greater than 10 nor less than 10 it is equal to 10. So what we can probably say is whether a is less than equals to 10 question mark yes or no. And then it is yes because we now have equal to condition over here equal to condition evaluates whether this is equal to uh, 10 or not right now let's uh, make it a little complex and specify b equals to 20. so now we have a equal to 20 and b equals to 20 and what we will going to see now is the the logical operators which are and and or okay so we are saying whether a is greater than equals to 10 two pipe sign which is the condition or condition and b is less than 20. So what it does is it checks first condition if it is true it just come out of the loop as as a statement that yes whatever condition has been specified is true and it will give you the output accordingly whether it's a true or a false. If it finds both the condition false then only it will say false. If any of the condition is true it, the whole statement will become true. So if I execute it is true but if I write a is greater than 10 or b is less than 20. So what will be the output in this case? Well let's see false because in this case both the statements are false and that's why it has given you the false. So remember when you are having pipe this is or condition within or condition either this is true or this is true it will be fine. It The entire statement will become true. In case you need to return false you need to make sure that both the conditions are false. Now another way or another uh, logical operator conditional operator that we have is and and uh, a is greater than 10 or maybe greater than equals to 10 and b is less than 20. So this is the same expression that we have written it over here and it is clearly indicating that uh, with the and operator you have to have both the conditions true. This should be true so in this case yes it is true but in this case this is false because b is equals to 20 not less than 20. So what happened in case of or condition that it checks only one of the conditions which has been specified and gives you the output if it is true. But in case of end condition you have to have both the conditions true right. So if I press control enter it will give me the false. But if I say a is greater than equals to 10 and b is less than equals to 20. Now both the conditions are true because we have equals to sign. If I press control enter it will be true in this case. So now you got an idea about the and operator and the or operator. 
So in our operator, if one of the statement or, or the one of the condition is true, whole statement is true. In case of end, all the conditions should be true. Then only it will be fine. Otherwise, it will give you the false. Now let's see how you can write the if condition. So if conditions very, very common, but very heavy. So be very careful when you are using it. But sometimes there is no point, there is no choice that, uh, but to use the if condition. So what we want to check whether a is greater than, sorry, a is uh, greater than 10 and then print. What we want to print, a is greater than 10, right? Another condition that we want to write is else if a is less than 10, then print a is less than 10. Very simple condition that we are writing. We're writing else, it should come here, else print a is equal to 10. And finally, end. So a is equals to 10. So why? Because this is not true. This is not true. So it has come over here and check. Okay, fine. If both are not true, then this is the statement Then I need to run because this is the default statement which I want in case both the statement false. If else if is, fi is failing, then I have finally the else statement, right? Now let's see uh, some of the operations related to the string. So let's say we have a country. We have country United States and we want to check if the country that we have mentioned is United States or not similar to this. So how you can do that, oops, how you can do that if country equals to equals to. So this is the assignment operator. This is the equality operator, which basically check whether the value is equal to a string or a particular value. So if it is equals to United States, then print you mentioned United States, right? And we can just end it also here. Else print uh, you are in a country other than United States, right? So very simple, straightforward. If else condition, here we had looked at more complex, but this is just to show you the string operations and the equality assignment. And you mentioned United States because country is United States. If let's say the country I mention is India, Control enter, control enter. You are in country other than United States, or you mentioned the country other than the United States. So this these if else statements are very, very straightforward as you could see. You simply write if else if else and if else and or you can simply write if and and as well. That's also fine in cases like this. But uh, what I really recommend that uh, most of the time you use these ternary operators, which is like a single line, if, if that's what your need is with a single if statement, because these are like comparatively more faster because it evaluates the conditions fast. But in case of if there is a proper processing, which compiler really needs to do, and that makes the program a bit heavy. So that's about the conditional operators, the the logical operators that I wanted to tell you in this video. As, as I mentioned, and I'm continuously mentioning, there is a lot more than this for sure, but this is to give you a quick start because most of the work that you will do will be, uh, this, this video will suffice that, and uh, you will be able to do all the conditional operations on the data with the help of this tutorial. So that's pretty much about it, and I will meet you in the new, new topic.